Hi friends, welcome to this session on uh, expanding XFS file system online on Red Hat or CentOS 7. To begin, uh, let's discuss a couple of things on XFS. XFS is highly scalable, high performance file system which was originally designed at Silicon Graphics in year 1993. So that's very old file system now. And uh, in uh, Red Hat or CentOS 7, this is the default file system. And uh, that is, this thing is applicable to other latest Linux variant also. So they are using XFS as default file system. Couple of key features, XFS supports metadata journaling, which mean uh, in case of recovery, crash recovery, it can recover very fast. XFS can be defragmented and enlarged while mounted and active. It means online resize of file system. That's a useful feature, useful and very handy. Third thing, XFS supports sub-second timestamp. That's a great feature of XFS. Uh, last feature which I have listed here, that's uh, real time is on by default for XFS, which means no overhead compared to no A time while still maintaining same A time values. That's a useful feature. And uh, technically, when we want to resize XFS file system, we have to take care of a couple of things. First, the logical volume or LV, that must be expanded or resized first to the new size. Then second thing, which is not mandatory, but we can check the existing file system configuration by running XFS underscore info, then mount point. Then at the end, we can run xfs underscore growfs command on that particular mount point. So it accepts mount point uh, as parameter, not file system. Just uh, keep that thing in mind. And with these three easy steps, our file system is resized. So let's uh, do it practically now. Okay, friends, uh, I have logged on to my lab server. So here, let's check what is the size of this file system. Uh, this is Red Hat 7. Uname minus A. If you see Enterprise Linux 7, that's CentOS 7. So df minus at slash applications. If we see uh, this file system is presently 6 GB, let's check file system type with minus T. If you see this is XFS file system. So let's check the LV size. So we can run LVS. If you see this is the LV, repo LV, here it is presently at 6 GB. Let's see whether there is any free space in volume group or not and uh, this is the VG name, repo VG. So let's run VGS, then VG name. If you see at present uh, there is 4 GB free. So what it means we can resize this file system from 6 GB to 10 GB or 9 GB approximate. So to do so, first we have to resize LV. I will use a traditional LV resize command, minus L, I'm going to use all free space plus 100% free. It means I'm going to use all free space in that VG. Then I have to specify, uh, I can specify volume path, enter. If you see uh, my volume is resized, now check the LV size, LVS, you see uh, earlier it was 6 GB here. Now this volume is 10 GB. So LV is resized. Now our task to resize XFS file system. As I said in th theory session, first we will check XFS information with XFS info and then the mount point. It accepts mount point. If you run this command on file system, it will, it will do nothing. So if you see uh, at present, uh, this is the configuration. Uh, this is the sectors, five, 512 sector, and these are attributes. This is a block size and uh, other configuration parameter. So let's resize file system now. So XFS underscore growFS, then your mount point, enter. If you see how quickly it resized file system by 4 GB in uh, one or two seconds. So now check new size, you see it's 10 GB now, let's validate data inside mount point. So 
So data is there. Friends, uh, that's the beauty of XFS. If you notice, if I'm doing same activity on uh, ext4, it will take approximately 30 seconds to finish that. With XFS, it's very quick. It took only one or two seconds to grow the file system. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you have any question, uh, you can uh, post your com in comment section of this YouTube video. If you really like this video, just click like, but like button and subscribe to my channel for uh, latest video or uh, update. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.